Umbilical hernia is extremely common in pediatric age group, but this is not the case with epigastric hernia. Because of not so common occurrence and at times not so evident clinical signs, its diagnosis is often missed. With these words, I am Dr. Manish and I welcome you all to another interesting clinical video on epigastric hernia. So, let's start. Six year old female child weighing 16.4 kilos presented with complaint of pain abdomen for 8 to 10 days. Pain is mild and constant. There is no radiation. There are no relieving and aggravating factors. There is no history of trauma to abdomen. Child was asked to locate the site of pain. Pain is localized to periumbilical area. Child was further asked to elevate her trunk. On elevation, a small swelling appears above umbilicus. When the swelling was palpated, a round defect of the size of fingertip is palpable in the abdominal wall. Child was asked to stand and the swelling becomes prominent just above umbilicus. This swelling was not prominent when child was lying but became prominent on straining and standing up, both of which increases intra-abdominal pressure. Based on presenting complaints and examination findings, a diagnosis of epigastric hernia is made. To understand things better, let's stick more into detail. Epigastric hernia occurs through a defect in the linea alba between umbilicus and ziphi sternum. It is through this defect that herniation of a small amount of extraperitoneal fat from the falciform ligament occurs. Although the actual defect of the linea alba that produces an epigastric hernia is usually in the midline, the protruding extraperitoneal fat sometimes deviate to one or other side, producing a swelling that is just off the midline. On occasions, epigastric hernia may be multiple, so more should be looked for on examination. Finally, coming to treatment, which consists of surgical repair as an elective procedure. That's all for now in this video. If you have any queries or suggestions, then do post in the comment section below. If you haven't liked or shared yet, then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.